Wow, this current is cranking through here. All right, I definitely have to pick up the paddleboard here. Look at all these snook in here. Another snook. Ooh, more snook, more snook. Sheep's head, another snook. <laughs> and I'm up in the tree. Gotta love it. Hey, this is Luke with Salt Strong doing some paddleboard fishing today. Got a late start. We have a winter day. It's actually my birthday. Even though it's windy, I really wanted to get the paddleboard out, get some exercise, and heading to explore some hidden lakes. One of my favorite things to do for wintertime fishing. I'm actually bringing three rods. Usually I bring two. One with the bomber, one with the Power Prawn USA, and another one with a gold spoon. So that's gonna be the, the weapons of choice today. We have a really low tide. It's gonna start coming up, and hopefully by the time I get to this lake, it'll be deep enough where I don't have to carry the paddleboard. It's sure to be an adventure. Hoping to catch some redfish, snook, and trout. We'll see how it goes. I'll keep you posted. All right, locked and loaded. Let's do it. See if we can get some sight fishing in. See something cool. Maybe we can catch a fish or two. Water's nice and clear. So if there's going to be fish here, I should be able to see them. Hope that wind doesn't switch directions. I'm going about six miles from assuming I can get to these lakes that I think I can access. And I do not want to be paddling upwind on the way back. So on the way there, I stopped at this spot. I got out and did some weight fishing. This is an area that I saw some snook at at the time I was here before, which is about three years ago. So Ooh, put the power there, on something. and fish this little trench. It was on immediately. Ah, uh, might be another ladyfish. Oh, it just came off again. So I just cast across this little cut. Oop, I already got something on. Something messed with me at least. So I'm gonna work it down that little bank. We have a little, little creek coming out into the bay. It's technically where the fish should be right now. There we are, got something. Another, looks like a lady fish, yep. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I think this is a jumbo ladyfish here. <laughs> it felt a lot stronger and it's either a giant ladyfish or a smaller snook. Feels ladyfishy. Yeah, I might have to go to a heavier lure to get down deeper, faster. Look at the size of that ladyfish, that thing is a beast. So that last lady fish wrecked my leader. It got around an oyster or something. And so I had to go back and, and retie the leader. There, there definitely are some good snook in this area, uh, typically for winter time. And so I wanted to make sure that my line was always good. So I went ahead and redid it. There's me tying the FG knot out there on the water. Uh, but what I wanted to do as well, the other change is to put a jig head on versus the weighted hook. Those ladyfish were aggressive. They are really not letting the lure get down to the bottom, which is where the snook reds trout flounder we're most likely to be uh, on a cold morning like this. So quick change and back after it soon after. I'm just gonna nose on up in here and see if we can't pull off a snook or a red in this little trough. It's pretty deep. Now we have the Power Prawn USA with the jig head on it. So this is gonna help me get down past the ladyfish to the snook or reds or whatever's down there. Just do a nice slow jig along the bottom. Ooh, there we are, got something. Whether it's a fish or not. Oh yeah, flounder. Oh man. It just opened its mouth and just came right off. Sometimes they just drop down and sit and they're dumb enough to eat. Let's see if we can get them. It was a decent sized flounder. I don't see him down there, but yeah, a lot of times they, they think they're hiding and they'll just literally sit right there. And they're such a stubborn fish that they actually eat it sometimes. Oh well. We'll see if there's anything bigger up in there. Comes on. There we are. Ah. What else? Either a small snook or another ladyfish. 
lot of sheep's head down there that I'm seeing. I still haven't seen a snook or red. So if they're here, they must be pushed a little bit further up in. But he's getting some action. All right, I'm just gonna punch up in here and look real quick. So I was hoping to pull off some snook here, but if there's, if they're in here, they should be right around this zone. If not, I'm just gonna do a fast paddle all the way down. Ooh, that looks like a good fish right there. Ooh, yeah, that was a good snook. Dang. Should have cast to him. See if there's any more hanging out. This little creek mouth. Bunch of fish down there. Yeah, I'm used to casting the Brazilian power prawn and this power prawn USA is, is a denser material that casts further and I apparently have not used to the extra distance that this lure helps achieve. And just my luck, because the timing could not have been worse, as I pulled myself to the tree, I was seeing all sorts of fish. Now I got stuck in a tree and I'm seeing a bunch of snook spook out. That is just my luck. Look at all these snook in here. Another snook. Ooh, more snook, more snook. Sheep's head, another snook. <laughs> and I'm up in the tree, gotta love it. All right, well, at least the hunch was correct. The fish are holding where they're supposed to be. All right, finally out of that stinking tree. Do a couple more casts up here and then we're just gonna go make the track over to the lake. So paddling across this small little bay, I'm starting to see how strong this wind is and I'm starting to think this is a bad idea, but I'm going anyhow. I'll just be a little sore tomorrow. Man, there's some good fish right here. I don't think I'll be able to reach them in time before they spook off. Dang, they just spooked off. There they are, dang. It's my snook. Gosh, so I started seeing some fish and spooking some. Ooh, nice red right there. If this thing eats, that'll be hilarious. Oh, nope. Oh man, some more nice ones ahead of me. Yeah, I started uh, seeing some some fish spook off as I was paddling down and so I thought I'd just come check out this cove and man they were right in here this wind is really wrecking me once I get back into this lake though, I'll at least have some more wind protection I'm actually taking a, uh, a back route given this wind I'm doing different than my pre-trip plan my plan was to go around way on the outside there's two ways in uh, but the water's the water's up pretty high now and I think I can go the shortcut, which is gonna involve going into some real skinny stuff. And I might have to get out and walk the paddleboard a little bit, but it'll be worth it to get out of this wind. Wow, this is actually really deep. Yeah, so I might actually be able to get through without, without carrying. I've done this once before, and I, I, but I only fished just like a portion of one of the lakes. And there's several back there, so I'm going to go to the very far back one. They definitely shouldn't be as pressure to these. These, uh, this area does get hit pretty good. Pretty much all those fish I saw, or uh, not pretty much. Oh man, there's a redfish right there. But all the fish that I at least attempted to cast to was basically spooking off by the time my lure got to them. So hopefully these fish back here won't be quite as spooky. All right, so now is the when it gets real skinny. And there's a lot of different way, like a lot of different little trails. It's basically like just natural little trails. One's cut, one goes that way. I'm gonna try this one. I believe this one's a little bit deeper. And I'm just gonna go super slow, keep my eyes peeled. This is just cool. I love going exploring spots like this. Just peaceful, pretty much never see anybody. There's a snook. Wow, a lot of good fish there. It's a nice little deep trough. This is where I had to carry it last time, so we have a little bit more water than before. Much more convenient this way. 
Okay, I might have to carry after all. Yeah, it's not worth running the ground on oysters. Wow, this current is cranking through here. Now, well, let's go see how we're looking up here. This is what I call an adventure. Could be a total bus fishing wise, but this is just fun. You know, doing these, make sure to put your rods with the tip going back so you don't break any tips. And now, let's get on up there. If I remember right, we're getting close to this lake. Oh yeah, it's opening up, sweet. There's the lake. All right, we made it. Now we gotta find some fish back here. Check this out. It's a pretty good sized lake. And this is, this is just one. There's several others. As you can see, this is a huge hassle to get back. And that's actually the easy route. The other way is actually tougher. So I'm gonna get the rods up. We're gonna slowly come in here. This water is nice. I like this color. Those fish hopefully will be a little bit happier and more willing to eat. And uh, let's see if we can find some. So little did I know while I was in that little creek, you know, making my way through, the, the wind actually increased even more. So it was already stronger than I planned for. It got worse and it was coming in a, in a bad direction for this lake that I wanted to explore. But I was already back there, I was committed. And so I just pushed right into it and I really wanted to go check out the far side of the lake to see if there were some fish. So last time I was back here, there was a bunch of mullet jumping. And this time it doesn't look quite as lively. I saw some flickering, but not like before. So we're gonna go down to the very far back end of it. Explore around, see what's here. And could be a total bust, but could be the mother load. <laughs> you never know. You never know till you go. Ooh, it's spook, it spooked something out. That's the first sign of something good. That looks more like it was a couple sheep's head. Whatever it was, wasn't very big. So there's at least some life up in here. So far, this is looking like a bust. It's only about some of these lakes, you never really know. Some are awesome, some are terrible. My first time up in this one. I've never been this far back. Definitely chose a bad day to do with how windy it is. Like right around this corner, this wind is just cranking. So I'm gonna get quite a good exercise today at least. All right, well, I checked out that little channel that's, that goes to another lake. The fact that there wasn't much life there, I'm, I'm looking down, down the end of this lake. There's really no birds, no bait. Somehow there's a fire over there. Hopefully everybody's okay there, but um, really not looking too good. So we're gonna go cut, just cut our losses and head out of this one. And then there's one more lake. I've actually been to this next one. It's a pretty cool spot. I got some good fish there last time I went. And so we're gonna try that and just hope that this wind changes directions. Because if not, I'm gonna get a serious workout on the way back in. So here is the entrance to the next lake. This is a super narrow channel here. All right, so just right through there is the next lake. Let's do it. All right, paddleboard secure. Let's go check out the next lake. All right, here it is. Already seeing a bird, that's a good sign. Everything's secure here. I'm gonna go do a little wading. And if obviously, um, you know, this isn't a very safe thing to do is to basically leave everything and be out here by myself. I did, of course, tell multiple people where I'm gonna be. I'm exactly where I said that was gonna be and I have my phone on me as well. So make sure to be careful when you're going off the grid like this. There we are. Might be another jack. I just just caught and released a jack and realized my GoPro was off. Feeling like another one. I was thinking there'd be some trout out there too, but yeah, this is fighting just like a jack. They do that little side turn and yep, another little jack. Yeah, what I did is I switched just a little small little jig trying to get, pick off some trout. It's a little bit deeper water out here in this in this lake. So trying to pick off some trout or something out there and there's a small jig called the Little John. It's 
guys talking to us. Just a little darter jig. All right, just finished a little sandwich over here and now to go claim the paddleboard back. This has just had a few jacks in this in this lake. There really, again, not much bird activity. So I'm just gonna go back. I, I should have just stuck with the trend that I found earlier. And I'm gonna go back and see if we can find some reds and snook up in the shallows and sight fish them. So that is my next plan of attack. But I've got a backtrack my whole <laughs> my whole trip now for the trek back all right just got the paddleboard back it was uh, it was a tough day out there i had a, a really good exercise at least so burned some calories that's for sure but yeah the bite was tough i wish i would have actually stayed at the first part where i when i realized the wind was bad i should have stayed in these canals and so what i'll do is i'll show you online um you know where where the the smarter play would have been i was just so focused on getting out and, and going to those hidden lakes that I just didn't put a smart game plan on once I realized the conditions were worse than, than I had planned for. So uh, still a fun trip, you know, exploring some areas, which is always fun, but the fish catching was rough, but it happens. Some days are tougher than others, especially when you get too stubborn and, uh, and don't, uh, don't reassess the plan when the conditions are different than what you planned for. So hopefully you can learn from that mistake I made. Any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. And if you're new to saltwater, just know that we're the best online fishing club for saltwater anglers. We actually guarantee you'll be finding more fish, you'll be saving money in your tackle, and you'll meet a ton of new fishing friends. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.